And welcome back, Aski here with another guide for Banjo-Kazooie. This walkthrough is on collecting all of the Jinjos in Mad Monster Mansion. This level goes really, really fast. This video is going to be like two and a half minutes tops. We'll be starting over here in the hedge maze. Going to be grabbing the orange Jinjo from this back corner over here. This one's pretty easy to spot. When you're running around in the hedge maze, your camera is sort of locked. So at pretty much any point when you're in, you know, the back-ish side of the hedge maze, there's a pretty good chance you're going you're to see that Jinjo being all bright colored against the uh, green and purples back there. Pretty easy to see. Anyway, uh, we'll be heading over to the other side of the opposite side of like that entrance area where the exit pad is to the level. And we'll be hopping up here, grabbing this blue Jinjo using the shock spring jump pad. And we will continue to wrap our way around the main building on the level, the main mansion. We'll be dropping by the wine cellar here. This one's probably the hardest one to find. It's kind of hidden. It's going to be hidden in one of these wine barrels down here. Pretty much, uh, if, if you don't know that these things are breakable, then you're kind of relying on, you know, hearing the Jinjo. If you hear him whistle, then maybe you'll, you know, investigate further. But if you don't hear him and you don't know you can break those barrels, I don't know how you'd find it. Alrighty, and heading back outside now, these last two are pretty much going to be right next to each other. And they're going to be up on the upper floors of the mansion. <laughs> Past me is really scared of that bat. I don't know, it looked rabid. And we're going to hop over here and use the shock spring jump pad to access, what would it be, the third floor? Third story? This jump can kind of be kind of tricky because you either have to land on sort of that windowsill in front of that lit window, or you land on the gutter like I did there. I kind of bounce back and forth between which way I like to do it. Anyway, that was the green one there on top of that chimney. And the yellow one, the remaining one, is right here inside this bedroom on top of the bed. So yeah, like I said, those two, those two are really close together. So yeah, there you go. That already was all five Jinjos on Mad Monster Mansion. So yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like these Jinjos could have been spread out a little bit more. I'm not really complaining, but um, considering how many cool areas there are that you could only access with the pumpkin, and you know, there's the whole church side of the map. There's the graveyard over there. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like a couple of these could have been moved a little bit further away. Anyway, though, that's going to do it for our Jinjo guide on Mad Monster Mansion. Thank you so much for watching. Coming up next is going to be Rusty Bucket Bay. Stay tuned for that, and I will see you in the next video.